Hi, I'm in Bristol doing a bit of street photography with a few of the guys who are actually following me on YouTube and Instagram so it's really really cool to meet up with a few guys that I've been chatting to and stuff and uh, got to know via Instagram and through my YouTube channel so yeah really cool so we just meet, meet there's a few of them over there just taking a few photographs of an archway that we're kind of waiting for people to walk through yeah we're gonna have a wander around we've only got a couple of hours we've met at 11 o'clock at a cafe um, had a few, had a coffee there and a bit of a chat, see where everybody's from and whatnot. Um, and then we're just going to go for a wander around. No real plans, just looking for a few alleyways in Bristol, see what's, see what's going on. But actually, a fair few um, sort of works of art around Bristol as well. So there's some amazing sort of few Banksies that we've spotted on the way up here. Um, yeah, really, really charismatic, charming the city Bristol. So we should get some really, really nice images. lovely frame leading down to the silhouette in the bottom it's just a case of waiting we can just see a gap for when somebody's going to appear got like a slight gap there don't want them I'm being fussy aren't I and can I be selective as to what they wear as well oh that's it <laughs> who scared her off here's one here's a lady coming now one in the background there you go get any shots yeah, I've got a few good man good man Hey, I was very trusting there, weren't yeah, I? Yeah. <laughs> so Craig here spotted this shot. We're just going to grab a photograph looking through. What is this? A wall, there's an opening of a wall. Um, and just waiting, waiting for somebody to come along this path here. But using the wall here to block off that sign. So if we put the camera there, that sign goes and just pre-focus on that corner and they'll probably make a square of this section here then. Gotcha. He was holding wallpaper, he was holding wrapping paper. I thought it was an umbrella. <laughs> That's a shame. Camera. She looks up and sees a load of cameras pointing at her. There's a girl point walking down here now. So I'll get into position and have that window kind of... There's my focal point. So focus on that back wall there, 500 of a second. There's a lady coming from my left and there's a girl uh, there and there. I forgot that. them lines young lady walking towards us f11 keep an eye on the histogram probably gonna get run over trying to take this photograph i'm not losing this photograph i really like this shot here so just wait for somebody to walk in front where them ladies are and uh Get the get keep the lines of the background completely portrait, and then have uh, somebody walking towards me. This lady here is quite quite good. She walks straight into the camera. Any good? Uh, well. Mm. Because I can crop, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Relying on the 5,000 megapixel camera. Oh, that's nice. See, he weren't looking when... You got a better shot than me. Definitely, because when... Oh, when, I got that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's when, not too bad. when he seen me, yeah. he kind of looked away. Yeah. So I think you must have... He must, yeah. You, I might need you, a copy of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we've been talking about uh, different settings that I normally use uh, ISO Auto and the weather today has been absolutely fantastic day but it keeps going bright and then cloudy, bright and cloudy so especially when we're going into the shadowy areas as well ISO Auto is just shifting like absolute nuts because obviously the darker areas it's thinking it should be about 20% grey so the ISO you're constantly up and down on the compensation so what I've decided to do uh, and do a lot more of is um, shooting full manual so my ISO has been around about 640 uh, aperture has been about f11, f8 and um, yeah, just trying to keep my shutter speed around about 500. I think it went up to 800 at one point, but just everything's been full manual, so I've got much more control because the light has been changing, the conditions in which we've been walking around have been changing. So uh, yeah, ISO Auto has not been a good day today. Just waiting for someone to go through that triangle, but is it happening? No. How long have you been waiting? About five minutes. <laughs> So where are we now? On the edges of the what? Cabot Circus. Cabot, we're edge, edge, so this is the entrance to Cabot Circus. Oh yes, there's a great big sign there saying Cabot Circus. So we found this spot on the way into the, the uh, shopping centre. These lines going through here and on the floor there, see them? Absolutely fantastic. So that's obviously shining through that up there, which actually there's a good silhouette up there as well though, for the people walking across it. Um, so yeah, so you can see at the top there, shining through there. Um, basically it's casting this amazing light of the shadows on the side of here, which is going to wait pre-focus here only needs about f8 and obviously being quite close to the to the subject we have to be shooting quite fast so that they don't blur uh, but yeah it's just a case of waiting and ideally someone wearing a jacket like that would have been perfect <laughs> all right so we're all waiting on the on the entrance to this shopping center before we get thrown out apparently this area is quite notorious for being photographers being thrown out by security so um I'm on 35mm equivalent and I'm just too close, obviously on the GoPro we'll get the whole frame in. Um, but what we need is one person, I'm probably about half a metre away from there, and I'm going to have to go portrait to fit it all in. But I'm an F8, thousandth of a second, just to freeze them. It's really bright, so I'm only on ISO 800, so uh, there's a guy with a bike here, that'd be perfect. for that one, yeah? <laughs> That's what it's all about. I'm filming. <laughs> Today was fantastic, really, really good to meet up with uh, those that came on my first photography walk around uh, Bristol, just a casual get together and have a wander around Bristol, it was really, really good, uh, enjoyed it. So met some really, really fantastic people, um, one or two of them actually knew the area really well, so that helped us find some areas that I particularly wanted to get to as well, so yeah, I think we all got some good shots, a lot of us were sort of chipping in ideas and suggestions as to what would work, and uh, obviously everybody photographs things differently, so yeah, it was really, really good fun. Uh, I think everybody got some good images, so I'm really, really pleased. The plan was to meet Matt for sunrise down at Burnham on Sea at the lighthouse, so that was fantastic, but meant I had to leave Swansea at four in the morning <laughs> so I'm absolutely buggered now but I really really hope you enjoyed the, the, uh, the video it was, it was really good I started off shooting um, full full manual because the some of the we were going from outside to inside and some of the places we went inside the, the, the blacks and the walls and the dark environment was knocking off the uh, the exposure the compensation so I thought it was easier just to lock the exposure full manual and um, shoot ISO or ISO manual uh, sh exposure manual and the aperture manual and just uh, everywhere I went then the exposure was set the same so yeah it was always it was it was a lot easier I mean on the X on the X100F it's not it's not the easiest camera in the world to adjust the ISO um, so yeah it, it was a bit fiddly at times but it, it definitely meant that taking an extra couple of seconds it meant that every photo I forgot I got the uh, the the histogram just right so yeah it's been a really really fun day um, met some really really funny people I think I've got some funny shots one or two I can't wait to look at uh, but yeah it's been a really really fun day so I really hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit the subscribe button give it a thumbs up as well uh, let me know in the comments which image you like best there's one or two I think are going to work out really well so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing them myself um, and if I missed any photographs in the video as well uh, let me know the timestamp in the in the comments and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.